Damn, Dre, you wavy. You that nigga. All right, y'all, what's good, man? Welcome back to another Dre's Talk, man. That's what we gonna call it, Dre's Talk. Now, y'all seem to enjoy that last talk we had, so we got another one. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, bro. It's right here. Go follow me, send me y'all topics, and I'll talk about whatever y'all need help with. It's between me and you. Nobody got to know what you're going through. You feel me? Somebody out there might be going through it. You know what I'm saying? So y'all seem to enjoy that. So we got a few topics that, you know, some people want me to talk about. So I'm going to talk about it, all right? I got my, you know, my green highlighter jacket on. You know what I'm saying? If y'all got merch and y'all want to send me some merch to wear in a video, bro, I will do it for you. Just hit me up. I got you. You know what I'm saying? So what we're going to get into is we're going to talk about red flags, bro. All right. Now, before we start, y'all, some people was like, you know, um, y'all want longer videos. Bro, it's just me. You feel me? I mean, 20-minute videos, 25-minute videos, that ain't going to hurt you, man. You feel me? Nobody wants to sit here and watch an hour video. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Come on, man. You feel me? Um, maybe soon I will be getting other people on this talk show. Who knows? But let's get into it. So we're going to talk about red flags. All right. Now, bro, a lot of people ignore red flags. I don't know why. Why do people ignore red flags for? Why? What's the problem? Bro, if you ignore red flags, man, it's just a red flag. You feel me? It's just, it's not good, man. You know what I'm saying? Red flags bothers you. You know what I mean? It messes up your day. It, it, you know, it makes you depressed. Bro, don't ignore red flags. When you see red flags from people, you got to cut them off or just let them know. You know what I'm saying? So those of y'all who don't know what red flags is, a red flag is basically like somebody doing something you don't like. Bro, that's a red flag. You feel me? Or if... You know, one of your homeboys is talking to your girl without you knowing. But that's a red flag. Bro, red flags can mean anything. When it comes to me, bro, and then I see a red flag, I automatically just, I, I step away. Like, I don't deal with that stuff, bro. No one wants to deal with red flags. So, to be at peace, y'all, y'all got to get rid of red flags, you know. Don't ignore them. Always, always, you know, avoid red flags. Don't deal with them. Because... You're not making yourself happy. You're making them happy while you're dealing with they red flags. And we not doing that, bro. We not doing that. You feel me? So never ignore your never ignore no red flags from anybody. It don't matter who it's from, your friends, your family, your girlfriend. Bro, never ignore red flags. Always take care of it. You know what I'm saying? Cause think about it like this. You ever woke up, you know what I'm saying? And then like, something's been bothering you about, you know, about a person, you know, how they act around you or, you know, how they switch up or how, you, you know what I mean? Bro, that's a red flag and it's bothering you. You got to let them know or you got to cut them off. It's up to you. You feel me? Now, I, bro, I don't know why so many of y'all want me to touch up on topic about girls, bro. Are y'all niggas not really getting girls out here? Are y'all not getting girls out here, bro, that y'all always want me to touch up on topics about girls? Really? Someone want me to talk about choosing signals when it comes to girls. Like, they don't know if a girl wants them or not. Bro, y'all want me to... All right, whatever. <clears throat> That's why we here, right? To help y'all out. All right, bet. So check this out. Choosing signals, bro. I get them all the time. And how I know... I don't know, you know, what y'all like to do for fun. Do y'all go play ball? Do y'all go to the club? Do y'all go to the bar? Do y'all go bowling? Like, what do y'all do for fun to where, or what, what do what do y'all do to where women look at y'all? You feel me? Like me, sometimes I like to go to the club. I like to go to the strip club. I like to, you know what I mean, go to the bar. You feel me? That's what I like to do. It's mostly women there. You know what I'm saying? That's where you have a good time at. But, how do you know if a girl is choosing, dog? Bro, you will know. Trust me. You will know if a girl is choosing. Why I say that is because... All right, so check this out. Let's say let's say you at the bar, right? You know what I'm saying? 
even if you're not old enough to go, let's just say you at the bar, right? You at the club, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You got your best fit on, bro. I'm talking like, my nigga, you got like your best shirt, your best jeans, you got your best shoes, you know what I'm saying? You got a clean cut. You feel me? You smelling good. You looking good, right? And then you walk in a bar, whatever, club, whatever you go into, a place you play pool, whatever, bro. Whatever you go in is women. You walk in there, right? And then you see girls just, she just keep looking. Bro, she choosing, man. She choosing. You feel me? If you just, you know what I mean? You doing your thing, but you can see her. Bro, like, you can see her, my nigga. And she just, you know what I'm saying? Or she keep facing you, and y'all looking at each other, and then she look away. Like, bro, those are chooser signals. She walking away, still looking at you. Those are chooser signals. Like, you know, I don't know, bro. Like, a high percentage, dude, like, she wants you to come talk to her. Usually, some girls just do that to bait you over, just to, just to you know, Grab your energy and run off with it. You ever you ever went to go talk to a girl because she kept staring at you? And then she's not interested, bro. She just wanted your validation. She just wanted to know that, you know, she looked good if you come up to her. That's all I'm saying, y'all. Like, some girls would jack your energy and keep it moving. You feel me? But some girls, you know, when they do choose a single, they want you to come talk to them. I don't like that, y'all. <clears throat> For some reason, that's just, I don't like that. If you want to come talk to me, you going to come talk to me. You feel me? I'm not about to come chasing after you because you staring at me from across the room. Bro, I'm not doing that. You know what I'm saying? So you, you, you come talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, A few weeks ago, y'all, like, I went to the club, and then I'm, I'm at the VIP table with my boys. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing my own thing. I'm chilling. You feel me? Usually when you go to the club, you know, girls looking their best. You feel me? They want you to come talk to them. That's why they got those tight dresses on. That's why they got, the, you know what I'm saying? They looking good because they want dudes to come talk to them. That's what's on their mind when they go out. They want you to come talk to them. You feel me? But when I go out, y'all, I have fun. You feel me? It be pretty women. It be girls I want to talk to, but I go and have fun. If you want me, you come get me. You feel me? I built myself up to become this person. You come get me. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's flip it a little bit. You feel me? I'll be paying attention. Girls be choosing. They be looking at me. You know what I'm saying? It be girls who be looking at my homeboy. The next you know it, they come looking at me. You know what I'm saying? Girls will walk past. Bro, they will literally walk past me and rub their cheeks all up. You know, all up. All up. All up on my area, you feel me? They will literally walk right past me and rub their cheeks all up on my area, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, uh, I know the choosing signals. If you want me, come get me, you know? It's it's a few girls who will come up to me like, oh, put my Instagram in your phone. Put my number in your phone. Or what's your number? What's your Instagram? Hit me up. Hit me up. I'll give you my Instagram, but I'm not going to hit you up. You're going to hit me up. You feel me? You gonna hit me up, then I'm gonna let you know when I'm free. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all just gotta pay attention to choose a signal. They, they, they could be looking at you. They could be walking past you so many times. They could be looking at, they could be walking past, staring at you from a distance. You know what I'm saying? Like this one girl at the bar, she kept walking right past me, y'all. Just kept walking past. Just booty bumping me. Just kept walking past. Just hoping I say something. Hoping I grab her. Hoping I. You know what I'm saying? Call, call her out on her actions, yo. Some girls do choose the signals different. They stare at you, you know. They'll look at you from a, you know, from a, a distance, walk away. They'll walk past you all day. You feel me? They might smile. Look, choose the signals could be done in all ways, y'all. So y'all pay attention, and then if it happens, y'all want to go talk to them. Go talk to them. That's y'all. You feel me? But that's just how choose the signals are. Now that y'all know, you feel me? Now that, now that the youngest know when you get older, now you know what's up. Because it's rare that a girl will come talk to you, bro. Like, it's really rare. Rare. You know what I'm saying? So, make sure y'all know. You know what I'm saying? Um, YouTube. Now, people want me to touch up on YouTube, y'all. I know a lot of y'all want to do YouTube. You feel me? What's in YouTube? 
How do you do it? How do you grow on it? We're going to touch up on that right now. So, yo, when I first started doing YouTube, bro, I was a youngin'. Like, I was a youngin'. You feel me? I was living with my moms. I was working. I decided to do YouTube. I didn't know nothing about it, y'all. Like, this is when I first started to do my waves. I didn't know nothing about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Zero. You feel me? So I, I searched up YouTube. Um, I seen channels. I seen, you know, people making money. I seen people uploading videos. I seen thumbnails. I seen this and that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, that's cool. You feel me? Let me do it. So that's when I started putting my wave videos, you know what I'm saying, up on YouTube. And I never knew how to get subscribers. I never knew how to get likes. Bro, I never knew how to do any of that stuff, y'all. Like, bro, I never knew how to do any of that stuff. You feel me? Um, so I, I went and bought a camera. I started recording my hair. I just, you know, every time I upload a video, I'll see comments and people want me to do this video, do this video. I start doing it. So people start subscribing. I'm like, all right, cool. Here go five. Here go 10. Here go 15. You know, you know, a whole month go past. I'm up 500 subs, two months, three months, you know, 600. A year go by. I'm up, you know, 8,000, 9,000 subs. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how YouTube works. So if you want to do YouTube, right? Just go get you a camera, bro, and just post. Who cares what it is? Somebody going to mess with you for what for what you do and who you are. Just like you watch me, you know what I mean? Like, you rock with me for what I do and who I am. Does it make sense? You can do the same thing, man. Whatever you good at, get the camera, record, and do what you do. Upload it. You're going to get some type of audience, dude. You know what I'm saying? How do you grow on YouTube? You got to be consistent. You got to be consistent so you can get put into that category. You know what I'm saying? So you can get put in people's recommendation because you are that channel who's being consistent while there's a channel who's not. So what you going to do, man? Let's say this is you. And this is a channel that's already up here, but they're not consistent. And you decide to be consistent, you go right above them. And people recommendation box. And that's how it works, bro. You know what I'm saying? So upload, post. You feel me? Post whatever you, you good at. It don't matter if you're playing ball, bro. Go get your phone. Set your phone up outside. Go shoot. Go dunk. Do some crossovers. Upload it. You you go to the gym, play one-on-ones, you know. Y'all run twos. I mean, uh, y'all run fours. Y'all run fives. Bro, put your phone there. Record it. Upload it. That's all it is. People going to rock with you for who you is. If you rollerblade, if you do hair, whatever you do. Whatever you do. You feel me? If you make beats. My nigga, upload it. Because somebody going to rock with you for you. I, I, I promise. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you do. If you babysit. My nigga. Ask the parents if you can, you know, upload videos with their kids. You know, go buy them toys. Record videos of them. You know, open up the brand new toys you bought them. Bro, there's a lot of things you can do on YouTube and people will rock with you. Just make sure you consistent. Make sure you interact with them. Just like I'm interacting with y'all. You feel me? Make sure you interact. Make sure you upload. You know what I'm saying? That's how you grow. Upload, upload, upload. Some people say you got to be funny, entertaining. Listen, if you're not somebody who's funny or entertaining, you just... I mean, I'm a chill dude. I'm chill. I'm not all over the place. I'm not... You feel me? I'm a chill dude. You know what I'm saying? If something is funny, I'm going to laugh at it. If it's not, I'm not going to laugh. But I'm a chill dude. And that's that's just the vibe y'all going to get. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to change up who I am. You, you feel me? Just so y'all can like me. If you don't like me, you don't like me. You know what I'm saying? So always be yourself when you come to YouTube. Because if you don't, people can see past that. And they know that's not you. Now this is me. Chilling. You feel me? So that's just how YouTube is. Make sure y'all, you know, stay consistent. Be yourself. You know? Once you try to cheat the game, bro, I believe, this is how I look at it. I believe if you try to be something you're not, you're going to fail, bro. You're going to fail. You feel me? And I, that's just how I look at it, man. It ain't going to get far because that's not who you are. You feel me? I feel like if you be who you are, you will last longer. 
You feel me? You would go far in life. That's how I look at it. You know? Um, yo, I know these topics is all up, bro. Y- y'all tell me to talk about these topics, I'm going to talk about it. You feel me? So y'all comment down below if y'all made it this far, like the video. Now, people, somebody asked me, you know, what kind of girls should they go for? Bro, I, I, how am I going to answer that question for you? How am I supposed to know what kind of girls you should go for? My nigga, I don't make the decisions for you, but I'm going to tell you what kind of girls I go for. Maybe y'all would probably go for the same girls, but, you know, everybody go for different kind of girls, you know, whether they black, white, Mexican, Asian, mixed, whatever, you know, whether they, they, they petite, skinny, little, you know, normal, big, huge, everybody got their own preference, you feel me? Some with short hair, long hair, curly hair, straight hair, you know, a big, you feel me? Everybody got their own preferences, bro, so, um... This is how I look at it, y'all. Me, it just, it all depends on your age, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know, bro. Like, me, I like, I, I like them cool girls, bro. Like, you got to be cool. You know what I mean? Laid back, just cool. You know what I mean? Like, we could vibe. That's what I like. Like, if let's say I just woke up. And I want to hang with you. Like, we could go do some cool stuff. Just vibe. Let's go bowling. Let's go, you know, try out a restaurant. Let's watch a movie. Let's go ride some ATVs. You know, stuff like that to where you can vibe with each other. That's what I like. You know what I'm saying? You know? I like them girls who work a regular job. You feel me? Some dudes like girls who don't work a regular jobs. Some dudes like girls who get fast money. I'm not saying something wrong with that, but that's just what you like. You feel me? That's what you like. Me, I just like girls who, you know, want to put in that that work, who want to, you know what I mean, get up and do that hard labor or some stuff like that, you know, get up and hit that clock, punch in, you know, punch out. That's what I like, bro. You feel me? I'm not, I'm not, I don't got nothing against girls who, who don't work that, you know. If you're a girl who get fast money, that's what's up. I used to date girls who got fast money. It just wasn't my, my kind of thing, you know. You got to try out things that. You know, you might, you got to try, you got to try things in order to like it. You feel me? So I tried it out. I didn't like it. You know, it wasn't, it didn't come to no bad experiences. It's just something I don't like, man. You know what I'm saying? So it all depends on you. What kind of girl you like? What kind of girls you go for? You feel me? I like petite girls. You know what a petite is? Petite is like a girl who likes slim, you know, slim. You know what I'm saying? With a little bubble on them, a little bubble booty on them. You feel me? Everybody like thick girls, bro. I believe thick girls are played out. They played out, bro. Too many people like them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can have one here and there, but my preference, y'all, I like the little, you know, slim fit girls. You feel me? So that's just my preference. But I think y'all wanted me to let y'all know what kind of girls y'all should go for. I don't know, bro. Like, maybe y'all should go for the nice ones. You know what I'm saying? Go for the ones who who want to experience more in life. Go for the ones who... You know, who's not, you know, who's goofy, who's, you know what I'm saying, who who likes to have fun. I believe those are the best girls. The girls that are goofy are the ones, those are the best. I'm a goofy dude, you know. We could be driving in a car and I just, do, you know, say a random noise and just start laughing. That's goofy. You feel me? So, I don't know, man. Y'all try it out, bro. Go for the girls who nice, who who's funny, who's, you know, who likes to do things. I believe those are the best girls right there. You know, who don't want to... Well, arguments is going to happen. They're going to happen regardless. But just go for the ones who like to enjoy life. Have fun. That's what I like, bro. You feel me? Who like to try new things. Those kind of girls bring peace into your life. You feel me? You don't want them girls who's always... I mean, they're going to nag. You feel me? But you don't want them girls who don't want to do nothing in life. Who don't want to explore nothing in life. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? You know, who just want to lay around, don't want to do nothing, be lazy. You don't want those kind of girls, y'all. So <clears throat> be smart with who you talk to. Be smart with who you, you feel me? This and that, this and that. You know what I'm saying? Um, How many of y'all got kids, bro? You know, I want to know how many of y'all got kids. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to know. You feel me? I have no kids, y'all. 
no kids. If you have kids, that's what's up. I got brothers who got kids. I got nieces and nephews now. You feel me? Um, ain't nothing wrong with having kids, bro. You feel me? Somebody asked me, you know, is it or is it something wrong with having kids, bro? Ain't nothing wrong with having kids, man. Nothing wrong with it. How I feel about it, I don't think it's nothing wrong with it. But do I want kids? Not right now. You feel me? I'm not where I want to be in life yet. You know what I'm saying? I got a car, my own place, you know what I mean? My own money. You feel me? But right now, I feel like I'm not ready. I want to tour the world first. You know what I'm saying? Because when you have kids, it does stop everything that you do in life. Not a bad thing, but it do stop a lot of stuff, bro. You got to put your life on hold and you got to focus on on them. I'm not ready for that yet. You feel me? Once I'm, you know, done with my life, you feel me? Then I'll have kids. So when I have kids, I have everything set up for them, for their life, you know? Money in a bank account, you know what I'm saying? A car I could pass down to them, you feel me? Um, who knows? Stocks, bro, just you want to have something you could pass down to them. You want to be prepared instead of just having a kid and then now you're rushing to do this, now you're rushing to do that. You feel me? Now you're rushing to save money. Now you're rushing to, 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 to you know what I'm saying? Now you're rushing to get a paycheck because you got to do this. Bro, make sure y'all prepared before y'all have a kid, bro. You feel me? My nigga, don't be afraid to wear my, Don't be afraid to wear condoms, man. What you afraid of? You afraid to pull it out in front of her? Who cares, my nigga? That condom gonna save you lots of money. <laughs> it gonna save you a lot of money, dog. I, I, I promise you. My nigga, I know dudes who got kids right now because they didn't want to pull out a condom, bro. Like, my nigga, they wanted to get straight to it. Don't be that guy. If you got one, use it. If you ain't got one, you know you finna get some. Go buy and go buy you some and use it, bro. You don't want to, bro. I got a homeboy who going through hell right now because he just had a kid. No experience, no nothing. He going through hell, but it's a beautiful thing, you know. You, you you're gonna get used to it, but y'all want to be smart, man. Y'all go for the right girls. Y'all strap up, dog. I do every time. I'm single, no kids. Make sure y'all make the right decision, bro, because if you don't, it's over with. You dig what I'm saying? It's over with. So that's always important, y'all. Make sure y'all do the right thing, because if you don't, man, it's over with. Now, we're going to talk about breakups, man. I know this is the second video, bro. I know my first video, you know, wasn't that long, you know what I'm saying, but these are the topics y'all want me to talk about. So we're going to talk about breakups, y'all. You feel me? Now, when it comes to, bro, this is a, I believe this is like a serious topic right here, breakups. You know, people don't know how to move on. People don't know how to, to, to you know, accept that hurt. You know what I'm saying? So check this out, y'all. On my first breakup, bro, it was, it was whatever to me. You feel me? I was a younger, bro, like, I understood what was going on, I understood what I had to do to move forward, and I understood, you know, w w what breakups were, you know what I'm saying? I understood that that was part of life, that's why it never bothered me, man. Who cares, man, like, there's other girls out here, bro, because that's how they're going to look at it. Once y'all break up, goodbye, there's another dude coming, you feel me? So... If y'all break up, bro, don't go crying after her. Don't go be no simp. Don't go be no 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 weak punk. You know what I'm saying? Let it go. Move on. You know it's life. It's gonna happen. Just like your car go break down. It's life. Just like you going you gonna waste money. It's life. Understand the assignments. That's all part of life, and you will get through life with a breeze, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I look at it, y'all. If y'all want to see more of these videos, bro, comment down below, you know. Leave a thumbs up. Leave some topics I can cover. And I got y'all, bro. I got y'all. But as always, man, it's your boy Dre, and I'm out. Peace, peace, peace.